Hi there, this video is going to look at patterns. Here is an example of a tile pattern. In this pattern we can see we've got blue tiles and green tiles. And what I've done is just drawn up a table where I can record some values about this pattern. So if we look at the first pattern number, which is this one here, we can see we've got one blue tile with eight green tiles around the outside. If we look at the second one in the in the pattern, we've got two blue tiles with ten green tiles around the outside. And uh, the third and fourth patterns um, are listed here in the table. So with the fourth pattern there are 14 green tiles. So just with the actual example, the actual picture, to get the number of green tiles and the number of blue tiles, I'm just counting them. So if we have a look at the number of green tiles, we can see a bit of a pattern forming. Each time we seem to be adding two green tiles. So at this point I could probably continue my table by just going up in twos each time. Okay, etc. So what I want to look at is how am I getting the number of green tiles from the number of blue tiles. And this is where we produce another column where we look at trying to work out what the relationship is. So if we look at the first pattern here, so that one there, we know we've got, we end up with eight green tiles. If we look at the second pattern, so this one here, we end up with 10 tiles, but this comes from the previous eight tiles plus another two. Then if we look at the third pattern, this comes from taking the second pattern's uh, working, which is 8 plus 2, and then adding another 2. And then, looking at the fourth pattern, we take whatever was in the third pattern, which was 8 plus 2 plus 2, and we add another 2. So you can see another sort of pattern, number pattern, forming here whereby we're adding to each time and we're building up that numerical pattern. Now we're going to get a little bit tired with writing out all those twos being added. So in the next column, so number two working column, we want to have a look at how to condense this direct rule. So these, this, these rules here, how can we condense them? If we look at pattern number six, so this one here, um, we can see that that can be shortened to eight plus one, two, three, four, five, plus five times two. If we look at the fifth pattern, which is this one here, that would be the same as saying eight plus four times two. Um, looking at this pattern here, that's the same as saying 8 plus 3 times 2. So yet again, we end up with a, <coughs> excuse me, a condensed form of the direct rule. So this row here becomes 8 plus 2 times 2, 8 plus 1 times 2. And then just by looking at this column here, that first row would have 8 plus 0 times 2. Now if we're just looking at this column here we can see there's <coughs> um, what stays the same? Well first of all we're adding 8 so 8 plus something and then this part here remains the same so we can just say we, we're going to end up with something 8 plus something times 2. 
Now what I can say is that these numbers here sort of look like this list of numbers here, which is the number of blue tiles. And I can see that if I go back to my direct rule working column number two, so this one here, um, each of these numbers are one less than the number of blue tiles. So let's start putting in some letters to represent each of these headings. So number of blue tiles, let's call that N. Number of green tiles, let's call that G. So each of these numbers here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, would be the same as, so I would get 0 by subtracting 1 from N. So if I put in brackets here, N minus 1, when N is 1, then N minus 1 is 0. So this rule here fits the direct rule here. If we look at the second pattern, that number there is 1, um, the number of blue tiles is 2, so what will also go in the brackets here is n minus 1. So when n is 2, which is here, when n is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, which is what I get in this direct rule. So my rule ends up looking like this. So my algebraic rule looks like this. 8 plus n minus 1 times 2. And that gives me the number of green tiles. This can be, whoops, sorry about that. This can be uh, simplified to 8 plus 2 n minus 1 because n minus 1 times 2 is the same as it being written like that. And then we could also multiply out these brackets here. So 8 plus 2 times n is 2n minus 2 times 1 is 2. So there are different forms of the rule that we can um, eventually come up with. Okay, and um, one final shortened form of the rule. We can see we've got 8 plus 2n minus 2. So 8 minus 2 is 6, plus 2n. So we could use this shortened form of the rule as well. With these sorts of patterns, we can actually describe the relationship between uh, the two variables, blue tiles and green tiles, using words. So describe this relationship, and it's always about this column here. So the number of green tiles. Um, so from this shortened form of the algebraic rule, um, I can write something like the number of green tiles is given by um, doubling the number of blue tiles and adding 6. Okay, let's look at using this rule to answer some questions. So how many green tiles are there in the pattern that has 17 blue tiles? So that means 17 blue tiles means n which is the number of blue tiles, is equal to 17. So I'm going to use my algebraic rule and substitute in n equals 17. So g, which is the number of green tiles, is equal to 6 plus 2 times 17. OK, 
okay, and just evaluate that, find the answer. 6 plus 2 times 17 is 34. So the final answer is 40. So 40 green tiles are in the pattern which has the number 17. So that means the pattern with 17 blue tiles has 40 green tiles. Here's another question. If a pattern has 92 green tiles, how many blue tiles is in this pattern? So this means the information we're given is that G is equal to 92. So we need to find N. What is N? So let's write our rule out. G equals 6 plus 2N. G is 92, so G is 92 green tiles is equal to 6 plus 2N. If I subtract 6 from both sides, so if you see that 6 there, I'm going to subtract it from 92. So 92 minus 6 is equal to 2N. So that means 86 is equal to 2N. And then 2 times what is equal to 86? N is equal to half of 86, so 43. So the pattern number, which has 92 green tiles, is 43. So 43 blue tiles would give 92 green tiles. The last part of this um, concept to do with patterns is being able to draw uh, this relationship will graph this relationship. So if we just go back to our original table, here we have uh, one blue tile will give eight green tiles. Two blue tiles give ten green tiles. So what I'm going to do is uh, just jot down some coordinates. Um, so one blue tile was the same as green, uh, eight green tiles. So in the first pattern, uh, one blue tile, eight green tiles. In the second pattern, we have two blue tiles and ten green tiles. In the third pattern, there are three blue tiles and twelve green tiles. So what I'm just writing down here are the actual points that we can graph. Four and fourteen. 5 blue tiles, 16 green tiles. So let's actually graph this relationship. So the number of blue tiles, if I look at graphing that one, that point says I've got one blue tile is or equivalent to 8 green tiles. So you go up to 8 on the uh, vertical axis. Then the next point is 210. So go across to two blue tiles and then up to ten green tiles on the vertical axis. So that number there stands for ten green tiles. That number there stands for two blue tiles. Okay, the next point, three, twelve. So go across to three and up to twelve. The next coordinate or point is four, fourteen. So go across to four and up to 14. So you can see a little, another little pattern happening here. This is we we are graphing the relationship. So the relationship is seen in a visual way using a graph. <clears throat> we don't join these points because we're looking at whole numbers here.